All right, today's video we're gonna talk about how to get Google Maps data onto your Garmin Zumo XT motorcycle navigator. Before getting too far into this, you're gonna to want to make sure that you have your Garmin device up to date and paired with your um, either home's Wi-Fi network or the Garmin Drive app on your phone. Uh, so to get started, we're gonna go over to Google Maps and we're, here we're gonna talk about uh, a route I'm planning here for a trip coming up soon. Uh, Colorado and Utah and one of the segments of my ride uh, I'm planning to go from Montrose here to LaSalle uh, Utah and right now if you go and you make the uh, route Google will route you down this way on the route 62 and then over to LaSalle but uh, there's a fun road uh, that cuts on through this forest that I want to try out so we're going to talk about how to get that route into your um, Garmin device. So you want to go over to menu and select down below here your places. From there it's going to bring up here you want to go over to your maps tab and it's going to show any of the maps you've created before. Uh, I have one up for uh, Trans Wisconsin Adventure Trail but we're going to create a new one here for this trip. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new map. It's going to open up a new tab and it's going to uh, take you to the screen here. So I'm just going to title this map something that I can find it later. Utah ah. trip. Okay. Uh, by default, it's going to have a layer there. Uh, we're going to add another layer, and we're going to come back and delete this one. But uh, for now, so let's go over to Add Directions, and it's going to bring in a new layer. And from here, we can go ahead and let's just get rid of this unused layer uh, before we go too far. So down here, I want to start in Montrose, Colorado, and I want to end up in LaSalle, Utah. So here's what I was saying, how it's going to route us on what Google knows is probably the fastest route. And honestly, it'll be fastest, but is it the most fun? No. So um, here's where we're going to take that blue line, and we're going to, so here's that Route 90 that I wanted to take. So we're going to take our blue line, and we're going to drag it up on over into here and now you can see that our route is going to take us this way if you were to do this back in the main screen on Google without going to your my map section you can do this but every time you reload that route um, or if you just research Montrose to LaSalle it's going to take you on that default fastest route so by doing it in the my map section any of these modifications you make will stay saved uh, with it uh, other things here, so if you accidentally uh, click and drag a point out here and say you do something like this that you didn't want to do, you can easily just press Control Z to undo any of those things. Um, okay, so from here now we got this directions from Montrose, Montrose to LaSalle layer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just rename this real quick. Okay, Montrose to LaSalle. And you can also add, if you want to add a point C, um, I think you can add up to nine points here. Uh, for now, we're just going to leave it at these two. Um, once you're ready to export this, we're going to go up to the, th the menu bar up here, and we're going to hit Export to KML KMZ. And we're going to select just the, the Montrose to the Sal tab. And I'm going to leave these unchecked as well. And we're going to download this. It's going to put it into our Downloads folder. And uh, from there, I'm just going to go find it on your, see I already downloaded this once before, go find it in your file folder and put it, either leave it somewhere where you can find it or put it into another folder onto your computer. So I got a folder set up separate from my downloads that's just got all my Garmin map data in. So I'm going to go ahead and move that file there. I'm going to do that off screen over here. Okay. So once you go to Garmin Explorer app, you'll need to make sure you're logged into your Garmin account if you haven't done so already. And you should have already created one when you register your GPS. From there, we're going to go to Import, and we are going to import a GPX file. Now it's going to ask you if you want to import as a track or a route. Uh, difference here being that tracks are going to be uh, things that you import where you want to make sure you follow a specific path. This is the one you want to choose. Routes are going to be if you're just trying to hit specific waypoints. Uh, you want you can use a route 
uh, for 90% of motorcycle riding, I think we, we want to use tracks. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and I'm just going to import it into my library. I don't have a collection set up, but had I had a collection set up for this trip, um, you could add it to the trick there. You can always do this after you import it to your library as well. So now we're going to click here to bring in a file. It's going to take me to my last... When I navigate to the file, you got that uh, KMZ file stored in. And we're going to open that up. And we're going to import that. Okay, once your track import is completed, uh, you'll see it over here in your library uh, in this file. Right over here. And I'm not sure exactly what happened. Uh, I've been messing with this for the past day or two. Uh, but I toggled something maybe, or I, I I can't quite figure it out. But sometimes my tracks uh, are not visible right away. And even if I go over here to toggle them on and off, or I toggle this on and off, it toggles my waypoints, but it won't toggle the tracks here. And I'm not quite sure what happened. Uh, so what I found after doing some searching on the Internet is that you have to find find yourself on the map here. And for some reason, uh, I think I'm in Utah, but that's... I don't know why it thinks I'm in Utah. I'm over in Iowa right now. But you go ahead and you press, if you can't find yourself on the map, you can just press this little select yourself on the map. And sometimes maybe even to get this to pop up, you have to have your Garmin Zumo device powered on and connected to your Wi-Fi network. Uh, but you find yourself on the map here, and you're going to want to, you don't have to zoom in that much. You can just hover over that little plus sign and hit show tracks. And now your track pops up. Again, I'm not sure why I can't just upload a track and this was there before and I, I don't know what I hit to cause this to be a problem uh, but so hopefully you don't have this problem that I'm having but if you do end up getting this problem uh, where your tracks aren't showing up yep just go ahead and just toggle this little plus minus sign uh, on your uh, where it thinks you're located and uh, that should get your track to show okay so now you can see our track here it's on the map, and as we zoom in, uh, if you want to just check it, make sure that it looks pretty good. As you zoom in, yep, okay, look at that. Track follows this road pretty nicely. Uh, ch checks out over there. Let's just check this spot over here, just to sanity's sake. And yep, it looks pretty good. Um, one thing you may notice, if you upload a larger or a longer track file, uh, it may not track some of these finer curves as well, and that's because of that data point limit. I think it limits it to 10,000 points per track segment. So the longer your track, um, you you may run into problems where that resolution might not be as well. So uh, that might be beneficial to cut it up into smaller tracks. So, but for this one, looks like it works out really well. Uh, one thing I've noticed in this Garmin app, or the Garmin Explorer app, is that you can't change the colors or the icon looks on here. Uh, routes will be showing up in red lines, and tracks will show up blue with these little triangles on them. Uh, there's a little edit icon here. But that just gets you the uh, ability to change the name. And I guess we'll get rid of this .km thing. But that just gets you the ability to change the name of the track and not the color or the look of the, the icons there. So that's one thing I wish they had the ability to do in this Garmin Explorer app. You can, once the tracks are up on your Garmin Zumo device, you can change the color of the tracks there. So that's nice. Uh, but just on this web app, you can't do that here. Okay, let's take a look at how to find your tracks on the Garmin Zumo XT. You're going to want to make sure that the device is on, connected to your Wi-Fi, or the Garmin Drive app. So we'll go ahead, we'll go down to Apps and Tracks here. And now hopefully your tracks should automatically be shown in this menu. If it's not, we'll go up to the Options menu here in the top left, and we'll scroll down to Sync Explore Data on the bottom. And that should sync your data with the Explore Database online and go back and hopefully your track shows up if it hasn't already. So now we can select the track and look there's our track on the on the map shown here in blue. Uh, the default color is red. I was kind of messing around with this earlier so I changed it to blue so uh, let's zoom in on this here and look there's our track going on on that uh, highway 90 or route 90 over there. Okay let's take a look at how to change the color so go ahead and while you're in your track, go ahead and select the options menu and hit select color. And here you can see a wide variety of colors to choose from. Um, I, went, I went ahead and changed this one to blue just to kind of differentiate it from that orange color that's kind of the default for most of the roads. But now we'll go ahead and see, okay, change it to a turquoise color and uh, shows it up on the map. So if you got multiple routes in the same area, you can go ahead and you know do different colors for different things. 
So let's go ahead and look at our track again another way. If you go ahead and click on the view map icon, you'll bring up just the map and it'll be centered on your bike and I cut to a zoom, zoom out to the US here. But we'll go ahead and scroll in and you'll see that, okay, your track is just showing up by default also on the map. So this is nice if you're driving around you intersect one or two of your tracks, maybe you got some tracks around your, your home base area. Uh, it's nice to see them on the map and maybe you want to take the fun way home one day, you got it all plotted out ready to go. Alright, that's it for this video. Uh, if you found this video helpful, leave a like and uh, there'll be more videos like this coming out in the future and also stick around for a eventual trip video of this trip coming up. So, thank you.